the biggest game of the season so far. We are away at Lübeck. A win could get us promotion to the Zweiter Liga. And welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much, as always, for clicking play and for coming back to this Kaiserslautern series in Football Manager 2021. As I say, today is a big, big game. We are away at Lübeck, a team that would beat 4-2 in the first meeting between us uh, at the Fritz Walter earlier in the season. Um, a win could get us promotion, uh, depending on results elsewhere, of course. Dresden and 1860 Munich are also playing at the same time as us, so it's a really good video to do. Um, I figured I'd do this one. I know I'd said in the last episode that when we come back, it's going to be a the game that wins as a championship but there may have been too many games off camera to do that so I thought I'll come back and do this um, hopefully then we'll win the league in the next episode and then hopefully after that we can get on to the semi-final of the Pokal but before we get to this game get my words out um, let's see how we've got on since uh, since that last episode and we finally lost a home game, a very, very soft goal for Zvikau, uh, the only goal of the game going in at the near post. Not a lot to say about this game, it's our first defeat at home, um, our second defeat of the season. There were two highlights, one in watching the match on key highlights, there were two highlights. One was that goal, the other one was that last minute disallowed goal. Other than that, absolutely nothing and there's nothing more to say about it, it was a terrible, terrible performance. We did put it right though in the next game away at Magdeburg with a comfortable 4-1 four, uh, four win. A good finish there from Kenny Prince Redondo on three minutes. Uh, we were ahead before the 20 minute mark as well. The first of Elias Hoos brace. One of my favourite goals of the season. A wonderful volley that. A brilliant, brilliant finish. He was on hand 10 minutes later to make it 3-0 before half time. Um, I did wonder if there was an offside in there but um, when we saw the replay there wasn't. Um, they got a goal back just after half time through Sliskovic. Uh, again, quite disappointed there that we, uh, we conceded that one at the near post again. But Lucas Falvis hadn't scored yet. Uh, finally did. Brilliant, brilliant play from Kenny Prince Redondo. Thought for all the world he was going to smash it. Um, he didn't. Little outside of the foot, toe poke, through ball. And we were very clinical. Six shots on target. We put four of them away. We didn't pick up a yellow card, which is superb. It's great to see um, because we normally pick up quite a lot. And yeah, we uh, laid to rest the, uh, the ghost of that previous match. And speaking of laying ghosts to rest, we did it again in our next match against Hallisher. A um, unfortunate own goal from Vukur put us in front and then Lucas Falvey stepped up and smashed home a hat-trick. Um, I've sp I say laying goes to rest. Hallisher were the first team to beat us this season. Um, so this was a very, very satisfying victory indeed. For, against a team that are struggling relegation. I mean, we shouldn't have lost that away game, but we did. What a ball that is to put Spalvis in for the hat-trick. Hikmet Chifchi. Um, I've been watching Kaiserslautern in real life. He is by far and away the best player that I've seen on the pitch for Kaiserslautern. And he's proven to be a wonderful midfielder in the game as well. A really good goal from Boyd. Uh, got it back to 4-1, but... It was a dominant performance. They lost a player to injury as well in the last minute. Um, I think that put them down to 10 men in the end because they'd used all their subs. Um, but yeah, really, again, very clinical. Four, four goals from seven shots on target. Very, very clinical. Uh, but when you've got Lucas Spalvis, a hat-trick machine, um, you're kind of on the winner, really, aren't you? We did also have a friendly in the international break between the Magdeburg and Halsher games. And I've got Leverkusen over for a friendly. It was a brilliant game. We beat them 4-2. Super, super performance. Uh, Lucas Rosa, Elias Hoot, Marvin Pourier and Daniel Hanslick getting the goals. Uh, Lucas Falvis was off with Lithuania. Um, so he wasn't available. Um, he, came, he, played, he played three games in a week for Lithuania and came back for us and bashed a hat-trick against Halisher. So... That's outrageous. Phenomenal effort from him. He doesn't score for Lithuania, though, but then that is Lithuania, I guess. They don't score, do they? Um, so, yeah, we are qualified for the playoff, as you can see, um, but obviously that's not what we're after, is it? We're 18 points clear with 24 games to go, so 
we do need Dresden to lose today at Unterhaking for us to win the league and it would basically be on by virtue of the goal difference so it, it's it might not be 100% sorted out today, but I don't like doing more than three or four games off camera because I, I, I like to show you all the goals we've scored um, in games between uh, episodes. Uh, so, and if, if I end up doing six or seven, uh, it's just I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do it. So, yeah, that's the reason we've come back again today. I had a little look of it, a, look, a little look at it, and when we lost as well that game at Svikau, uh, at home to Svikau, should I say, that kind of also put pay to the um, to the plans of, of of basically coming back to win the league. So I like to show as many matches as I can as well on camera during a season. I, I think it's important. You get to know the players. I get to know the players as well, doing it on camera as well. Um, should be an interesting match, this one. Sufjan Benjamina got both goals against us in... We beat them 4-2 in the return fixture, or in the first game between us. Um, so I definitely want to say... Um, oh, I was hoping it'd be the revenge one. Is that not a thing? Um, oh no, we beat Lubeck away. That's why we beat Lubeck at home. <laughs> I was thinking we were playing Hallisher again for some reason there. Uh, right, let's say give the fans a performance. Oh, heads all over the place. Right, promotion. Here we go, boys. Let's get this promotion. Um, let's bring up the latest scores so we can see what is going on. I don't know what's going on there. I don't know why we haven't got the Germany scores on. Right. Oh, God, we've got goals going in already. Duisburger beating Mannheim. Um, we need to keep an eye on 1860 as well. Um, but we need to, more than anything, keep an eye on our match. Hopefully we'll get some updates through here because I, I want the shouts to be there. We, we're playing all right, so I'm going to encourage. We're doing all right. If we were on extended, we'd be seeing a few highlights, I think. Six shots, two on target. Carlos Sickinger has possibly suffered a cut hand. Wow. And that's that's a reason to take him off, is it? <laughs> I'm mad. Half an hour in, no highlights. Time for a berate, I think. Oh no. Sick are you kidding me? Sickinger's off the pitch with a with a poorly hand. Really? I've just put a berate out, berate shout out out. And we're gonna go one nil up here. That'll be just perfect, won't it? Um, here's Redondo. Come on. He's going out now on the... He's just going all the way here. Completely unchallenged. It's a terrible cross. It's back with Spalvis now, though. Oh, it's a great tackle. It is a good tackle. Are we still... Is Siki just still off? No, he's back on now. Oh, I'm going to have to take him off if he's injured. Spalvis is in. Goal number 36. For the Lithuanian legend that is, Lucas Spalvis, Lithuanian legend, lethal Lithuanian. Yeah, that one might work better. Whatever. He has been, him and Marlon Ritter have been the stars of the show, although it's Elias Hutu sets him up, and a keeper just watches it. It's into the top corner. It's 1-0 to, to us. Um, we'll have a look at half-time around the ground. I don't like the fact you can't have, I don't, you can't have the latest... You can have the latest scores, but I don't like um, having to do to get rid of the team lineup there to to be able to do that. Okay, while we're here, Zabra can a win in. Dresden a two 0 up, so it doesn't look like we're getting promotion today. That's a shame. Never mind. Never mind. Here's Shad. Let's just go and put out a message then. Let's send a statement. Let's get that statement win. Gottwald across to Kevin Kraus. Chiff Chi goes on a little run, gets it back from Redondo. Now Marlon Ritter, Sickinger. Ritter made a run there as well. So open it up for Chiff Chi though nicely. And now Redondo and the overlap from Husek. Oh, it's a wonderful goal. It's a wonderful, wonderful move. And Adam Husek gets a second goal of his loan spell, which will not be made permanent because there is an optional fee on his loan of 15 million euros, or 15 million pounds it might even be. Um, is outrageous. I don't know where the hell that's come from, um, but it won't be getting made permanent, that's for sure. Um, couldn't if I wanted to. Couldn't if I wanted to. Are we going to get another one? Throwing is cleared. It was a bit flat, that throw. Shad, Chiff Chi, got Valt. Nice ball. Lovely ball to Elias Hoot. Gets past his man. Whips the ball across. 
Redondo beaten in the air. Lusek picks it up though and keeps it alive. Can he get the ball in? Gives it back to Chif Chi. Clipped in. It's going to come all the way for a hooth. And that is a superb save. That is a brilliant, brilliant save from Raider. Full stretch to his right. That was going in the bottom corner. Brilliant save. Just about keeps his team in it. I have no idea what has happened. I've, I've noticed recently. I think my graphics settings have gone. We've got no fans in the ground, which is bizarre because we have had all season. And I don't know what suddenly happened that we haven't got fans in the ground anymore. That save looks even better in the replay, doesn't it? That really did look even better then. Um, right, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Yeah, Dresden are winning. So are 1860. 1860 are only 1-0 up. Dresden are 2-0 up. So with seven games to play at the minute, we're still only going to be 18 points clear. So it isn't a case of promotion today, which is a shame. Um, but I'm going to pump my fists and say there's still room for improvement. Do you know what? Why not? Why not? I usually praise them when we're ahead at half time. But I'm going to tell them, keep going. I want more, boys. I want more. It's been another really good performance, though. I mean, I, I'm, I'm really looking forward to see what this fight of Bundesliga brings because it's going to be a massive step up. And our players like Lucas Falvis going to be able to translate this this form into the the division above when we you know we're going to be playing much bigger teams than we are in the in the third division it, there's just no doubt about that i mean you've got many many ex uh, bundesliga clubs so it's got, it's going to be really interesting to see how we do and we're being pegged back here zahir gets his first goal for the club and it is 2-1 and that is exactly what i didn't want to happen i need to drop a little demand more in I mean, it's a decent ball. That's a great ball through. And a good finish. But again, Sparhitch, near post. Come on. Right. Demand more. Demand more just doesn't work at the minute. Really doesn't. I'm going to have to do some changes. So let's see what we're going to do. What we're going to do. Well, Sickinger can come off because I don't know, don't know what's happening there. Spalvis. Should we bring him off and give... Pourier a match? Hmm, not sure. I just worry that Pourier might not be as lethal if we get a chance. That's the only thing. Uh, we will bring Hlusek off because he's been booked. And I'm thinking, have we got a right back on there? No, so I can't bring Shad off. That's annoying. Redondo's not having an amazing game, so we'll bring Hendrik Zuck on as well. Um, and we'll just have the three for now. Come on, boys. Don't start bottling it. There we go. Highlight. Hopefully it'll be for us. Get the ball. There we go. Kraus with the header. Good header as well. Elias Hoot coming forward. Lots of green shirts in front of him. Sessa now. Oh, it's brilliant. Spalvis. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I didn't see it. I didn't see it. I was celebrating. Disallowed. That's got to be close. It's a lovely move. A lovely move. Unlucky. Right, I'm going to take him off now, Spalvis. And we will give Pourier a run out. Um, and... Dominic Shad's having a really, really poor game. So is Sparhitch. But I'm going to bring Kevin Krauss off. And we're going to bring on Alex Winkler. And that'll be the five done. Sometimes I make... Because we've got five, five from nine... I, I, I quite often make changes for the sake of it. I really do. And I should have taken Chifchi off. Because he's not looking very uh, very well at all at the minute. But he's the man of the match. He's our best player. Marlon Ritter has been anonymous again. Um, he's just popped up to a 7.1. So he must have done something off camera. But he's, he's been a bit, a bit hit and miss. He had five or six games where he was just ridiculous. But he's just he's just seemed to have dropped a little bit in the last few last few matches. Um, but this is looking promising. Here's Zuck. Good tackle on him by Riebler. 
cleared away, but got Val got to it, and now here's Elias Huth. Got plenty of bodies forward for this. Shad across to Chifchi. Nice touch for Sessa. Oh, it's a stunner. He likes a banger, does Nicolas Sessa. Um, he's been out of the team. He can't get in past Carlos Sickinger at the minute, but that might just get him back in there, to be honest. What a bang that is. What a bang that is. 3-1, job done. Game is put to bed in stoppage time. And it's a deserved win, of course. It's been a really dominant display again. We made it harder than we needed to, but it has been dominant. Hikmet Chifchi is going to get the man of the match, and deservedly so. He has been brilliant. Um, I've got to say, good win, boys. A good win. And I, um, I am going to go in and give Chifchi a... Uh, performance today was very good man of the match during the beta when you went on individuals they were all ticked and you had to go around didn't you and tick them untick them all to get to the one you wanted so I hadn't done them for ages and then I realized that now the full game's out it's they're all unticked so it's easier to do um 1861 1-0 Dinamo Dresden they won 3-0 Vlakodimos got a hat-trick so we are only 18 points clear we are not quite there yet maybe I should have gone one more game before recording but never mind never mind it's always good to get a, uh, a video out isn't it it's always good to get a match on camera um I will I I don't know whether to do a couple of games off camera I mean we've got Zabrucken at home who are eighth we've got Duisburg away who are fifth and then we've got Unterhacking so Yeah, I will come back and I think I will do another one before the Pokal. But we know we're going up automatically. That's that's a given, isn't it? There is there is no way. Um, I mean, to be fair, we're 21 points clear with 21 points to play for of the playoff. So we are, by virtue of the fact that we've got 38 superior goal difference, we are up. We are up. I'm looking at the league title more than anything, but we, we are up. So I think what we'll do is... I, who have Dresden got in their next game? Let's have a look. When we're playing Zabrucken and we play on the, on the Friday, Dresden play Duisburg. Um, yeah, I might come back and do the Zabrucken game because kind of we could we could now win the league in the next two games. We're going to win the league, so I think we're going to come back um, just to see us lift that trophy. We've effectively got promoted now. With that win and the goal difference so we are effectively up so get in um so yeah it's just a case now of i'm going to record the zarbrucken game if we win a league in that game it will come out as a video if we don't it'll be the duisburg game um so whatever happens the next episode is going to be us watching those fancy new graphics of when you win a trophy um, if you've not seen a trophy presentation yet make sure you come back because they're nice. They're nice little graphics now. You can actually walk up, lift a trophy. It looks really good. Um, so, yeah, make sure you come back. I mean, we might not do it in that game, might we? Because it might wait till the end of the season. I don't know. Um, but as always, smash that like button, hit subscribe, turn on the notifications, jump in the comments, jump in the description, follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and I will see you very soon. We are getting ever closer to that Augsburg semi-final. Cannot wait. See you soon. Bye-bye.